Jim Stevens and Brad Anderson back with you here in the finals area at World Cup 2006 as we move to our eighth and final match, the fourth match in doubles. It's Gummison and Mares for the Americans. It's Carouge and Bellio for the French. The Americans must win this match to send it to a final tiebreaker, overtime, if you will. And they're starting off on the tornado. The French have already scored once. It's 1-0, Dave Gummison former world champion on Tornado, has possession of the ball on his three row with a chance to even it up, and he does. It's 1-1. Thanks to Rob Matha for uh, stepping in, because I was getting way too excited. I had to go. I had to, had to go. Yeah, Ben <laughs> had to go. He definitely had to go. That comes, Gummison firing at home. It's 2-1. I don't know if you remember me saying way early in this match that there, I didn't see much fire out of the U.S. team. I'm definitely seeing it now, and the French team has quieted considerably. Now you'll notice Nicolas Carouge playing that forward position, Nicolas Bellio playing the goalie position. Both these guys pretty good on the tornado table. Shot to the far side, blocked up into the air and off the table, so Mares will be rewarded with the ball. And if, if they're shooting rollovers, Rob Mares and David Gummison have seen the best rollovers there are, so. Yeah. It's all going to come down to Perhaps a tiebreaker in this one. I was watching Carouge and Bellio earlier against Great Britain. Very, very impressive players yeah. on the Bonzini yeah. table. Sorry, we had to just take a breath there. Yeah. That one rattles into the goal for the French. It's now 3-2. Marouge and Bellio, Gummison and Mares. America must win to stay alive in this match and send it into overtime. So far, Gummison's five looking very, very crisp. Dave Gummison. Executes yeah. to that straight hole, it's 4-2. I know I uh, made a trip to Dave Gummison's house before this tournament, and this means a, quite a bit to him. He was very, very excited, and he really wanted to do well this tournament. And he's finally getting in the match, and he's, so far he's very, very. Uh, I'm sure both of these up very well. You bet. I, I, I'm sure most of these, both of these players here, Gummison and Mars, would consider this match right here one of the highlights of their careers. In fact, all the American team, all the players from all over in the world in this event will consider this one of the greatest events in history. No question about it. Never have we seen an intensity level quite like this. From <laughs> players, fans, and announcers. America fell behind four matches to one. They've come back and won the last two. Gummison able to rattle that one through. Dave now with a chance to give his team a 5-2 lead. Shooting against Nicolas Bellio, Dave Gummison. Tried to execute that straight, sprayed it wide of the goal. Rebound Karams to the five row of Gummison. Dave Gummison loves that wall pass, lane pass series. Nobody in the world of tornado foosball does it better. Here's Nicholas Carouche. Made that one wide of the goal. Now it's imperative for the American team to hold serve. We've talked about that all day long, and that's the phrase we've decided to use, holding serve. It's imperative for them to do so here because this is an outstanding Bonzini doubles team. Well, we've used the tennis analogy all through the, inter through the uh, event comparing the different tables and different services to different services on the tennis court. Well, there's that one as well, yeah. Gummison again, looking for a 5-2 lead. And he gets it, executing with that straight hole. Farid Luna, there you see him, the head of the ITSF. You know he's proud. This is his baby. This is the event he created. He has got to be proud. Of course, he's also the head of the French delegation. So he is, he is a Frenchman, rooting for the French. But... You know, he's pleased, of course, with how this event is going. Perhaps a little nervous right now about how it's going for the French as they have seen their lead shrink from four matches to one to four matches to three. And they're now down 5-2 on the tornado table, opening up this eighth and final match. Well, the French team started off this match uh, very loud, very confident, and they've quieted down considerably. Well, certainly their strength seems to be in the singles format. They won the singles end of things 
But the, the number of years of experience of all the, the, the players on the U.S. team, plus they've all played together at one time or another. They know each other's games intimately. Nice bit of defense there from Nicolas Bellio. Takes the ball away from Gummison. Shot down the middle, Gummison gets it back. Dave Gummison from full shot position. Right again to stroke that long. Nicolas Bellio doing an excellent job defensively. <laughs> Slicing effort, stab towards the goal, into the goal. Bit of a let up right there from Bellio after the big block. Kind of nonchalantly angled it down the table. It was blocked back into the goal. It's now 6 2 in favor of the Americans. Back comes Nicolas Carus, but he has his pass stolen away by Gummison. And Dave now able to reel it in on the three rod with a chance to win the game. Coon Rapids, Minnesota's Dave Gummison. That's in the upper Midwest part of the United States. Strokes on that pull shot. The United States leads this match one game to nothing. Let's head on over to Monzini. And here we go. Underway on Monzini. The French get on the board first. As Nicolas Bellio now playing the forward position. It's one nothing. And as we talked about earlier, the U.S. team playing, staying, and playing their game, adapting their normal game to the Bonzini. It's exactly what Dave Gummison started off with, a stick lane pass and a pull shot. Dave will use that pin to set it up. Try to go to that long hole, knock down. Taken away, quick shot attempt by Carouche. Shooting against Nicolas Carouche. Dave Gummison. Sprayed that one wide of the goal. It hops back to the five of Dave Gummison. So the French definitely expected to win here on Bonzini. And Mara's shot attempt. Locked and taken away by Bellio. Nicolas Bellio shooting against Robert Mares. Chokes it home to that far side. It's 2 nothing. So this match has all the earmarks of going to a tiebreaker. And boy, will that be intense. I think it's been noisy here so far. I don't think we've played nothing yet. Gummison had some difficulty with it. Remember, the Americans just now adapting to this table as Nicolas Carouge able to stroke that one home. It's 3-0. This is not the American strongest Bunzini team. Shot attempt, knocked down, taken away by Gummison. The key here is for them just to find some kind of rhythm on the Bunzini table. I'm talking about the Americans, of course. Right. Because, well, and there Dave, it is right there. Dave Gummison strokes that one home. It's now 3-1. Nothing better to establish a rhythm right there. Because you know it's going to come down to the tiebreaker where one or two points can make the difference. Get the one out of the three. The French were able to somewhat establish a feel for the tornado table. And frankly, I think that the, the real dominance of the U.S. team on, on tornado helps them, especially if they go to a tiebreaker, because, again, it goes to the three points. And... If you could stockpile the, the three points on your table and maybe steal one on the, the opponent's table, yeah. you'll do well. Well, I believe the French have a similar dominance on the Bonzini table. So we'll see how it all plays out. Gummison able to set it up now, try to stroke that long pull shot, rolls around, fortunate to get it back. Quick shot attempt taken away by Carouge. And Nicolas Carouge of France has it on that front pin. He's already scored once from here. Fires that one down the table on goal, blocked by Robert Mars. Mars out of Aurora, Cal Colorado. The foot of the Rocky Mountains, just outside Denver. Nicolas Bellio's pass attempt, blocked by Gummison, comes back to Carouge. Carouge fires that one wide of the goal. Gummison able to grab it on the five. American team has seen pressure pack situations before. These are very smart players, but of course you could say the same about the French. These are big time Bonzini French style players. 
baby foot players. Gummison stubs the ball, clock is running quickly, calls a timeout. 3-1 lead for the French. On the Bonzini table, the Americans leading one game to nothing after winning on Tornado. Here we go, Gummison puts the ball back into play. Uses that pin to set it up well in front of the rod in pull shot position. Gummison. Try to go to that straight hole, straight it wide of the goal. Looked like the hole was there. Looked like Harouge jumped out of the way. Bellio able to grab the rebound on his five row quickly, advancing it to his three. The French leading 3-1. Carouge and Bellio leading Gummison and Mares. Looking to make it 4-1 right here is Nicolas Bellio of France. Walking that ball around. And stroking it home to the far side. That is impressive stuff. Awfully fun to watch these top-notch Bonzini players play. I you know, mentioned before, not only the, the ball control and things like that, but just the quickness of these players. Um, <laughs> makes me tired just watching them. I'm telling you. <laughs> Gummison looking to pull back within two. He's had some difficulty hitting it to that straight hole. He's tried a couple of times. He's angled it wide of the goal. This shot attempt is blocked away by Carouge. It rolls to the five row of Nicolas Bellio. Pass attempt knocked down by Gummison. And stolen away by Gummison. The Americans can pull this match out. Of course, they've got their work cut out for them. Both these teams do. We would go to the overtime. It would be Dave Gummison and Terry Moore against these very same two players for the match. And he would go three balls on one table, three balls on the next. It would be the tiebreaker format. And really, Gummison and Maras don't have, really have the option to switch as we saw Pappas and uh, Yor, because Robert has not been playing real well on the Bonzini, and Dave has been playing service, been ser serviceable on the table. So I think they're going to look to see if they can just go to the, over the, uh, the tiebreaker. Looking for a 5-1 lead, but first he's going to utilize a timeout. And here we go. Nicolas Bellio puts the ball back into play. Back and forth. Beautiful ball handling by Bellio. Shooting against Robert Mares. Bellio dancing around looking for the hole. Loses the ball. It rolls to a stop. So it'll be awarded to Robert Mares. 4-1 lead for the French. That's another one of the rule changes that we've been talking about. When that ball goes dead, anywhere between the five rod and the goalie area, it goes back to the goalie area. Nicolas Grand Rouge fires that one wide of the goal. Gummison with a rebound. Dave needing to get something going offensively. Not looking real confident from the three row right now. Dave Gummison has his shot blocked by Carouge. Comes back to Gummison. Shot attempt taken away by Carouge. This has all the earmarks of a match that could go down perhaps 18 16, perhaps 45 43. <laughs> We may be here a couple of more days, but we'll be here a couple more days anyway. But With both here. these teams so dominant on their home table, it will be a matter of who can steal a ball or two here and there. At least that's the appearance at this juncture. It almost makes you wonder a little bit. Dave's had, he's struggled a little bit trying to shoot a pull shot, but he's going to maybe try a front pin. He's got a pretty good front pin. Can he use one here? Is he? No. Full shot attempt. Blocked. Bounces back to Carouge. Shot down the middle on goal. Stabbed towards the goal with a five by Gummison. It's 4-2. Good defense by Rob Mares Leads to a transition goal by Dave Gummison. The Americans have pulled back within two. Nicolas Bellio. Possession on the five. Goes through the lane nicely. Setting it up. Looking to regain that three goal lead. Shooting against Rob Mares is Nicholas Pelio. Back and forth, working the mouth of the goal, trying to go to that far side, knocked down the rebound. Caroms right to the three rod of Dave Gummison. Huge shot here, quick back pin attempt by Dave Gummison, wide of the goal. Dave will now set it up in pole position. Needs to stick with what he does best, and that's this right here. Very good move by Dave Gummison. Gummison. Out, selling that long pull shot. Suddenly it's 4-3. Or three lead now for the French. They were up 4-1. Good defense by Rob Morris on a couple of occasions and some good hustle by Dave Gummison and execution by Dave. 
That brought the American team back within one. Knocked down, stolen away by Gummison. And it's stolen right back by Bellio. Nicolas Bellio goes through the lane nicely. He'll set it up shooting against Rob Marr. It's quickly converts to the near side. It's 5-3. French leading 5-3 as Gummison puts the ball back into play. Dave went along that wall, couldn't hold on to it the first time or the second time. It squirts back to Bellio on the five row. Nicolas showing you some ball handling skills. Gummison gets a piece of the pass. That was a heck of a pass right there. I think that's really been one of the weaknesses of the U.S. team, probably short of Billy Pappas, is their, their offense from the goalie rod on the Bonzini table. Gummison sets it up, strokes it home. It's 5-4. Coach Alan Cribbs, the United States team. Where is Alan? He's, he's so he's, nervous. I don't think he's anywhere in the arena. He's well away from the table. He's had a rough day, I think. Uh, we'll talk especially about at the start of this match. Talk about rough days. Coach Frederick Bouquet of the French was actually <laughs> Coach Frederick Bouquet was actually ejected from his team a little bit earlier on against Great Britain. Somehow I understand. I can, I can believe that. Gummison. There's a shot blocked away. It's 5-4 in favor. The French makes it 6-4 as Carouge again scoring from goal. So standing in as coach is Alex, or rather Alice Denmanavong. Standing in for coach Frederick Bouquet, who has, we say, been ejected. <laughs> it gets awfully fiery. This has been extraordinarily intense. No, no question about it. He was kicking it. dirt at the umpire. Is that what it was? Yeah. Another shot down the middle on goal. By Carouge, who's been very impressive offensively. And here's Bellio, possession on the five, with a chance to advance it, perhaps put this game away and even the match up. That one towards the goal, rims off both corners, hauled in by Rob Mares. Rob Mares clearing the zone, grabbed by Carouge. Here's Mares again. As much as Mares has really struggled on this table, he's He's playing great defense now. He's he really just simply is. working hard. Dave Gummison now with a chance to pull America back within a point. Dave Gummison. Stoke said home to that long hole. It's 6-5. Gummison's finding his stroke, and, and the, the uh, tell me with the name, Jim, the goalie for the French team. He's playing basically a race. Nicolas and, Garouge. And yes, you really is. don't want to do that. You know, if the, Dave Gummison takes his time and executes, you're probably not going to block him. But here's Nicolas Bellio with a chance to put the game away. Passes it forward. Takes it out of that far side. Back to the near. Looking for the hole in the defense. Rob Marr is blocked away. Comes right back on goal. Blocked and saved by Nicolas Carouge. Carouge shot attempt. Thrown by Dave Gummison who stabbed it towards the goal. How did that one stay out? Shot down the middle, up into the air, and off the table. So Goes the ball back. will belong to Robert Mars in the goalie area. <laughs> wow. How big, a, how big would a goal from Robert Mars be at this point in this match? Well, I don't think Rob is looking to score. Anything right now, I think they take. We're in the zone, and he does so. That one angles into the goal. Rob Mars does indeed score. <laughs> Mr. Predicto, Brad Anderson. It is 6-6. Six, six. It is actually match point for the Americans. 6-6. Six, six. It would be huge mm -hmm. to, steal, to steal it up. A win on, on the Bonzini table. Nicholas Baglio, possession on the five row, looking to advance it. Brings it across, goes along the wall successfully. Baglio with a chance, has his shot blocked. Comes back to Baglio. Again, shooting against Rob Mars, looking for the win to even the match up. Baglio rocks back and forth and strokes it home. France wins 7-6. to six. We go to a tiebreaker. I don't know how much more of this I could take, Jim.